Gemini 3 is officially the cheat code. And today I'm going to show you how to use it inside of N8N to clone any viral TikTok video and publish it across all of your social media platforms in just a couple of minutes. This is the exact AI automation agencies are using to hijack trends, ride existing virality, and pump out content faster than anyone else. And in the next few minutes, I'll walk you step-by-step step through building the workflow, writing the prompts, deploying it to all of your social media platforms so you can leverage breaking trends on demand. Let's dive in. So here we are inside of N8N. Let me show you how the system works at a high level, and then I will take you through step by step. So this whole automation is triggered by a form submission. All you need is the URL from a viral TikTok video. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now so I can take you through the system. I was going through this guy's channel. He's had 12 million views, 14 million views, a million views. And I was just going to use this ridiculous Michael Jackson video. Nice, hey. Woo! Yo, he stole my chicken. Got a crispy treasure. Can't, can't slow me down. Hot and golden. I'm out of this town. Woo, woo. Friday victory. We'll back here. Run, spin, slide. I'm gliding out the door. Fried love in my arms. Can't give it up no more. Hey. Okay, so anyway, that's ridiculous. So if we want to make a clone of this video, all you have to do is copy the URL from TikTok and then come back in here and you can click Execute Workflow. This form is going to pop up. You just go ahead, paste in the URL, and click Submit. And that is all you have to do. So what we're doing here is we're getting the publicly available URL from TikTok. We're going to send that video over to Gemini 3 to analyze the video, which is something that no other model can do. This is actually incredible. Then from here, we're going to send this down to WAN 2.5 to generate a new version of that video. And the reason we're using WAN is because there are far less content restrictions on WAN than there are on something like Sora 2. So Sora probably won't generate Michael Jackson for you, but WAN has no problem doing this. Then we're just waiting three minutes for the video to be done. We're checking to see if it's finished. If it's finished, we're sending this over to a service called Blotato, which is my favorite way to repurpose your content across platforms. It's super, super easy. All you do is send this to every single social media platform. It's incredibly simple. This is essentially how the system works. Now let me take you through it piece by piece. So you already saw how the form submission works. And if you've never set up a form inside of N8N, it's incredibly simple. It's a great way to get data into the system. All you have to do is come in here, click the plus to get started. You can type in form and use this N8N form as a trigger for your workflow. Then there are just a couple of different parameters. We just have a URL field, which is a text field. You have all these different types of fields if you want to use them. Text is really, really common. You can actually add more than one form element. So you can add two or three or four, or however many you want. And then you can actually make this publicly available if you have clients or something like that. The next thing we're doing is we're just passing this URL to an HTTP node using the get method, and we're just bringing in this URL. And then we're using a little trick here, which is the user agent header. And we're saying Mozilla or 5.0 and Windows. And basically all this is doing is it's essentially tricking the system into thinking that a real user is interacting with TikTok, which is a super sneaky hack in order to get all of this official data back from TikTok, including the true public URL of the video. Then we send this over to a code node. I'm not going to take you through all of this, but basically this code is just extracting the actual video URL and the cookies from basically that giant string of text that I was showing you before. And this is the information that we really need. From there, we're making another HTTP request just using this video URL. And then if you come down here again, we're using that same user agent trick and then using tiktok.com as this refer. And then just a couple of other tricks basically here to trick the system again into thinking that a real user is interacting with it. You can see here, we're bringing in the cookies from this little field right here. And then we're just taking that information to basically download our video file. So I can actually go ahead and click view. Your chicken's looking nice, pal. Hey. And so this is that video that we just watched on TikTok and it is now actually available to us, which is super, super powerful. What we can do now is we can pass this over to Gemini 3. This was not possible before like this. We're using the built-in Gemini node inside of N8N to analyze the video. We've chosen Gemini 3 Pro Preview. And I basically just went in here and I said, Analyze this video moment by moment. Describe the video to an AI video generator so I can replicate this video exactly, including the audio. Output only a prompt for an AI video generator, and the prompt can be no more than 800 characters because Juan accepts no more than 800 characters. Then the input type, we're just making sure that we don't have video URLs, but we have the binary field selected or binary files. The file name is data because you can see here, this is data. So basically this is just coming through. We've analyzed the video. Actually, let me open up this back here. It says, create a realistic vertical smart 
smartphone footage of a Michael Jackson impersonator. This is kind of the trick to get around, uh, you know, celebrity likenesses in a fast food restaurant with red and white decor. He wears a black studded jacket, et cetera, et cetera. So this basically went and analyzed that full video for us, which is so cool. The next thing we're doing is we're passing this off to a service called Kai AI. And I'll just come in here and Kai is a great service to use. I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up. This basically lets you have access to a whole bunch of image and video models. And all we're doing is we're just passing in a prompt. We're, we're of course making an API call for this, but we're basically just mimicking all of these fields right here. So you can see, we can send it a prompt, we can send it a video duration, the aspect ratio, and the resolution. And so if we come back inside of here, we're making a request to Kai AI. And if we come down here, this is where we're passing all of that information. You can see we're sending it to the WAN 2.5 text to video model. We're sending our prompt that's coming from Gemini 3, the analyze node. So we're sending our prompt in here. We've set our aspect ratio to 9 by 16, which is the vertical format that's great for social media. The duration is 10 seconds. The resolution is 720p because it's a little cheaper to run. And we don't need prompt expansion in this case. And then from there, we've just added a wait node. So we're waiting for three minutes just to see if the video is done because it takes a little bit of time to process. From there, we're using another request to get the video and we're basically just using that same URL and we're just grabbing the task ID that's coming from the create video node. So we're just looking to see if that task is done. And you can see here, the state says generating. We're basically looking to see that this says success. So all we're doing here is basically checking to see, does this state equal success. That's all we're looking for, right? Does this state, dragging this in here, if it's equal to success, we'll pass it on to the rest of the flow. If it ha doesn't equal success, this is false, and we'll just pass it along here. We're going to wait another three minutes, and then we're gonna check again to see if the video is done. And then once it's done, we're going to upload this publicly to Blotato because Blotato requires a publicly available URL, which is really, really great because they just built this little node in for you. So to access this, you need the community nodes turned on inside of N8N, and you just wanna go to Blotato and you're just gonna select Upload Media down here. Our video isn't done yet, so we don't actually have access to this, but what you're basically going to do is bring in the URL that's coming from WAN 2.5. And then from there, you just pass this to every single one of your platforms. It's literally the same node to create this. And you can see here that we just have this connected as a resource, the operation is create, this is working now. Basically, we've selected the platform as Instagram. You can see here, we have access to all of these different, uh, these different platforms. Just select your account from the list. I will show you Blotato. It's really, really easy to set up. I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up. And basically, if I come into here, let me go into my settings, you can just connect all of your accounts with normal login, log in with your name and password. And then all you have to do is come into API, copy your API key, and then go into here and click create new credential and paste in your API key there. And you've basically just connected all of your social media accounts to N8N so you can completely automate them. From here, you're just, this is the text or the caption for your video. And then we're just bringing in the now publicly available URL that's coming from our upload media node. And now if I come over to my TikTok account, let me refresh the page. You can see I have this ridiculous Michael Jackson video already. A crispy treasure can't slow me down. Hot and golden, I'm out of this town. Sit, baby. Fried love in my arms, can't give it up. No. If I come over to my Twitter account, you can see Michael Jackson on my Twitter account. If I come over to my Instagram, you can see Michael Jackson on my Instagram. And even if I come over to my YouTube shorts, we got Michael Jackson all over my YouTube shorts. And so what's cool about this is anytime you see a video going viral on TikTok, you can just go ahead, you can grab that link, you can paste it in here, and you can publish it to your own accounts and you can hope to go viral yourself. If you thought this video was cool, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna get access to this workflow and learn how to make money with AI automations in the next seven days, check the link in the description to join hundreds of other people building just like you. If you wanna see how I make UGC videos completely on autopilot, check out this video right here.